Thank you, Mr. Kent. So we'll go next to Mr. Blakey again. Um, thank you very much. Um, so I guess the first thing I'd like to say in response to Mr. Erskine Smith is um, that I don't accept that he speaks for his colleagues on the committee here. I mean, I, I, I take the argument from him, and of course the NDP would prefer to have a public inquiry. So if the argument is that he would prefer we have a public inquiry as opposed to what's being proposed today, we're happy to accept that any day of the week. Our impression is that that's not on offer, at least mm -hmm. not so far. My question for all the other Liberals on the committee who voted against having a public inquiry is why they would be voting against this motion. And I'm not satisfied for Mr. Erskine Smith's answer, which is particular to him, that we have the reasons why they will be voting against this motion. And I think Canadians deserve to hear why Liberals who are not supportive of a, of a public inquiry are also not supportive of creating other forums for Ms. Wilson-Rabel and Ms. Philbot to come forward. We don't yet have that. We should have that before the vote. I invite all five of them to give their own reasons, as Mr. Erskine Smith has done. I also would just like to say that I take it from, from the position that because the waiver doesn't extend to this committee, um, if we take that as a reason not to invite the Prime Minister, as this motion does, and as Mr. Kent has pointed out, that this motion does invite the Prime Minister to extend the waiver, that the Prime Minister would f refuse to cooperate with an independent committee of Parliament. It's from, it's from the Prime Minister himself and from his House leader. Often in the House we have heard that they respect the work of, parley, of, of parliamentary committees, and I, and I think if a parliamentary committee therefore said that they thought it was appropriate to study this issue and they wanted to hear from these witnesses, that the Prime Minister should have no problem in extending the waiver, as he did somewhat for the Justice Committee. So, I mean, I also just don't accept that as an argument. I think it's important that this committee express its desire to get to the bottom of this issue and that it make a request, as this motion would, of the Prime Minister to extend that waiver. So that's part of what we're doing here today. We're not just trying to launch a study at the Ethics Committee. We're also trying to call on the Prime Minister to extend that waiver out of fairness for Ms. Wilson Rabel and for Ms. Philpott, who want to be able to tell their story. That's part of what we're doing here today as well. And so I think that's an important point that ought not to get lost. And I would hate to think that, uh, you know, all of this talk about respecting the work of committees and wanting to allow them to do the work that they see fit was disingenuous in the House. And I, and I take that by, by implication that that's the position of the Liberals on the committee if, it, if they think that somehow... Uh, uh, if we call for this study and ask for the extension of the waiver that the, that the Prime Minister wouldn't grant it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Blakey. Uh, up next, Mr. Weir. Uh, thanks uh, very much, uh, Mr. Chair. I think that Mr. Erskine Smith raises a valid point that Ms. Wilson-Raybould is in the process of making a written submission to the Justice Committee and that that written submission uh, would probably be of interest to members of this committee uh, before undertaking uh, a study of some of the same issues. In the spirit of trying to find a reasonable compromise, I wonder if Liberal members of this committee would be amenable uh, to tabling the motion before us uh, until after we've had a chance to see Ms. R wilson Raybould's written submission uh, rather than voting it down uh, altogether. Uh, certainly, Mr. Weir, you're able to suggest that, but not as a, as a current sitting member of the committee. That would be something that they would have to consider I guess, and, and could talk about uh, after. Yeah, I'm just suggesting that I recognize someone else would actually have to make yes. the motion to table it. Yeah, yes. Thank you, Mr. Weir. Uh, we'll go next.